All right, my desk right now, and uh, as you can see, it's a little bit on the messy side. Uh, I really hate seeing wires. I hate wires, and I really hate seeing wires underneath my desk like this. More than a year ago, I released a video on cable management, and I really, I just hate seeing cables underneath my desk and clutter in general. I like having everything I need within reach without actually seeing any of it. But the problem is that the adhesive folks I use just kept coming off over the years, and so I decided to try something which is not only cheaper, but infinitely better. But the best part is that no heavy tools are needed. I'm doing cable management to make things neat, and that should extend to your virtual desktop as well. Unactivated Windows has that ugly watermark you can't change wallpaper, and the software bugs you all the time to activate. Not neat at all. Before we clean up our cables, let's activate Windows first. Go to our sponsor, link in the description below. Create an account, it's just any normal online merchant. Log in, find the Windows 10 key, link also in the video description, add to cart. Now, don't forget our promo code HS20 for a 25% discount. After that, there are the usual payment options and then the key will appear in your user center. Copy that key, paste it, and Windows activate and you are golden. If you need Office 2019, our sponsor has that as well and use our code HS20. We'll also get you a 25% discount. Really, it doesn't last very long and it's very difficult to maintain. As you can see, the, the tape just peels off. And every time I want to remove one wire, only one wire, I need to remove all the Velcro straps each time. And it's really maddening that I need to hunt for each wire individually. And there are a lot of Velcro straps and uh, adhesives. All right, but I have two rules when it comes to cable managing. One, I don't wanna drill, okay? I don't wanna drill anything because I really like my wood and I don't like boring holes into it. Like, I hate it. So it's very important to me that I don't do any drilling. Not that I can't do it, but because I feel bad for the wood. You know, respect the wood. And number two, I don't want to see any wires at all, regardless of where I am in the room. I just want to see a clean slate. And hopefully, I also want to get rid of the hassle of having to manage so many cables using so many kinds of adhesive. So instead of using maybe like 12 of these adhesive ties or even these Velcro straps, I can just bring it down to just one long cable thing. We only need four things today. One, a meter long plastic cable organizer. I got this off Shopee for 170 pesos. However, I had to buy two due to the minimum order. Second, we need heavy duty double-sided adhesives. I got this from True Value. Third, we are going to be using one or two of these adhesive hooks because my monitor's grommet arm is preventing me from using another cable organizer. But I feel like that because most of the weight of the wires will be supported by the organizer, I don't think this hook will fall off anymore. Fourth and lastly, we are going to reuse these cable Velcro straps. These are super great for the environment and I literally am just going to be using the same ones that I'll be removing. The first thing we need to do is clear out the desk. So that means getting rid of my monitor, my speakers, my keyboard, my stream deck, mouse pad, mouse, my potted plants, a memento for my girlfriend, and uh, my Blue Yeti. It's also important to just unplug all the wires from the computer as well. That way we can prevent cables overlapping each other when we begin organizing. It is always great to work with a blank canvas. I'll take the chance as well to do some cleaning with a damp cloth. The next step is to remove the hooks I won't be using and the Velcro straps from the wires which I'll be reusing later. I tried removing the leftover adhesives, but it was too time consuming and the heavy duty ones I bought from True Value look like they'll be able to handle it no problem. I cleaned the back with some alcohol. Be careful with the amount of alcohol you place because alcohol could permanently mark wood if you place too much. Now that we have the back good and ready, we can prep the cable organizer. Tape, 4.5 kilograms. So, I got this because I think this isn't made of metal. This is like, this feels like hard plastic. And according to this, it says acrylics and hard plastics. To be honest, I could have been more systematic on how I placed the tape. 
Like, I could have used a ruler and a permanent marker, but I got lazy. So I just eyeballed it. After that, just attach it to the back. Press it down firmly for 30 seconds, and we are good to go. In fact, I kind of screwed this up a little. It isn't perfectly level with the back of my desk, but when I tried to adjust it, yeah, it wasn't budging anymore. This was touch move. For my purposes, the organizer doesn't need to reach the PC. It is enough for me that I don't see the wires if I ever look underneath my desk, and I could care less if the wires are strewn about behind the cabinets. With the new cable organizer, I can literally just dump all the cables within it, use a couple of Velcro straps to make all the cables just one single thick cable, and begin connecting the wires to my monitor and peripherals through the small gaps in the organizer. These gaps are thin enough for the wire to get through, yet tight enough that it also keeps the wire firmly still, thus no flaccid or loose cables laying about. My Stream Deck is very important to me because I use it every day to open up important bookmark websites, video editing, and the like. I love having it literally within a finger press away from my left hand, and so in order to minimize looking at another wire, I strapped its wire to the cable of my Mount Everest keyboard. That way, it just looks like one long single wire. The Velcro straps help out a ton as well in making sure it maintains a straight line, thus creating a neat, minimal effect. The Philips Hue lights are a little tricky. I could choose to install them behind my monitor, but I'm not ready to make that permanent commitment yet. Until then, I'm going to just stick to them being on top of my desk. Then, it was just a matter of placing everything back. Life is busy, and there are a lot of triggers for stress. Do yourself a favor and at least make the environment you work in one less thing you need to worry about. A clean and minimal desk setup is my happy place because it symbolizes that while there is always something that needs to be done, I'll at least have a calm environment where I can accomplish it in. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to Hardware Sugar, the only PC shop in the Philippines with no BS warranty, and where we release PC how-to and chair video reviews. See you guys next time, and I hope you guys enjoy the break. We want to give a special shout-out to Christian Espinosa, Rafael James, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Liam Magnai, and John Rubin Ochia. Thank you so much for your continued support for more than a year. You guys are just freaking awesome. Thank you and let us know if you want us to embark on a specific kind of content other than what we already have.